Number six, letter A. How much food energy will a man metabolize in the process of doing 35 kilojoules of work with an efficiency of 5%? All right. So uh, check out number five. Like halfway through, I really go through an intuitive ex explanation of this whole efficiency idea. All right. So I'm just going to calculate it from here. And if you want to understand where it comes from, check out number five. Uh, so basically, I have the efficiency right, will be equal to uh, the work done by an object divided by then the total internal change of that object. All right. So the efficiency is 5%. Now, you know, when we calculate percents, we use decimals, right? So the efficiency here is going to be 0 0.05. Now, actually, before I do that, let me just saw what variable what variable am I looking for? Well, I'm really looking for how much food energy will a man metabolize. That means that the that's really equal to the total internal change. Okay, because remember, whenever someone does work, not only is work being done by the by the body itself, but also heat is being generated. Okay, and I, again, I spoke about that in detail number five. So basically, I need to solve this for change in internal energy. That's then equal to the work divided by the efficiency. So now all I need to really do is just plug in, right? So the work here is going to be 35 kilojoules. Uh, but remember, we, we would like to have that in uh, joules, all right? It doesn't actually, it doesn't really matter, quite honestly. Uh, let me leave it in kilojoules. So 35, because it's just efficiency is just a percentage. Now remember, though, you need to plug in the efficiency as a decimal. You know, whenever you do percent calculations, you need the decimal form. So just take simply 35 and divide it by 0.05, and we get about 700. So about 700 kilojoules, okay, 700 kilojoules of food energy will need to be metabolized. Now you can, if you like, convert that into uh, kilocalories, all right? Totally up to you. Uh, you would basically take this value, multiply it by, by about 4.184, and that would give you your uh, food calorie value. Uh, in any case, that takes care of letter A. All right, so now letter B. So let's see, let's write that over here. Letter B, what does it say? It says, how much heat transfer occurs to the environment to keep his temperature concept, uh, constant? Explicitly show how you follow the steps presented in Andrew's explanation. Okay, so uh, basically we're, we need to find heat transfer. Now we need to relate that to then the work because they gave us the work and now we know the total internal change. So I'm going to be using the formula over here on the right-hand side. However, with one little change, okay? So the change in internal energy is going to be of a system is going to be equal to the change in heat energy of that system plus the change in the work done by the system, basically, or on the system, but the change in work energy, we can call it. Uh, take a check out number two, please, for a detailed discussion on this. Uh, and I created a table with all the signs and so on and so forth. Um, okay, so basically what I need to now find is it says how much heat transfer occurs, right? So I need to solve for uh, the change in heat energy. So change in uh, heat energy will be equal to the change in internal energy minus now the change in uh, the work energy, essentially. So now all I need to really do is just plug in, but you got to be careful with your signs, all right? So the change in heat energy will be equal to the change in internal energy. We just found it's 700, okay? So that's 700, and is that... Uh, Actually, is that value positive or negative? This work should technically technically be a negative value, okay? Whenever work is being done by a system, all right, it's negative. Again, check out number two for that. So this answer is negative, okay? All right, so now when I plug this in, it's going to be negative 700. The person lost 700 kilojoules of energy, okay? Then that's going to be now minus the change in work energy, okay? Now, it says the person, man, woman, whatever, is doing 35 kilojoules. So we already talked about, we just briefly discussed that is going to be negative 35, all right, kilojoules, because the work is being done by that system. So it's negative 35. And now we should be able to calculate our answer, all right? So we're going to get negative 700, essentially plus than 35. So negative, negative 600 and 65 kilojoules of heat energy, kilojoules of heat energy is being lost to the environment. And that's the whole point of the negative sign, all right? Basically what's happening, right, the person, if you were to think about it this way, the person, let's just pretend this box is, uh, you know, the person. And the person here is metabolizing 700 kilojoules worth of energy. Out of that 700 kilojoules, only 35 kilojoules 
is going to useful work, work to do something. I don't know what it is. Climb stairs, lift a pen, right? I, I whatever. I, I mean, that'd be that'd be great, right? If you could lift a pen and burn thirty five kilojoules of energy, it's kind of crazy, actually, how much energy it takes to like. I think it's around about a hundred calories, roughly, um, per mile. If you were to walk or run. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. And then if you think about a food item that you consume that's about 100 calories, like one of these little oatmeal crunch things that I eat, it's like 100 calories. I'm like, God, I got I to gotta walk a whole or run a whole mile to burn this thing off? It's like it's not worth it. All right. Anyway, uh, if I keep thinking that way, though, I won't eat anything. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I won't wither away to nothing. <laughs> I don't think I will. But anyway. Um, okay, so 35 kilojoules of that energy goes to doing useful work, meaning, and, and, and therefore the remaining 665 kilojoules goes to being lost as just heat. Poof, just being lost as heat, right? You know, when you do something, you walk upstairs or whatever, you do some exercise, you could walk a mile, run a mile, you know your temperature goes up, right? So hopefully that should make kind of intuitive sense here. All right. And uh, yeah, remember to check out number five and number two. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. See you next time.